In the short time that I've been a YouTube tech doucher, I've covered just about every single reliability issue with pro controllers under the sun. Aside from one. In the case of pretty much all controllers, from now until always, the USB ports have kind of sucked. With Xbox controllers, this is a done deal as the USB port is soldered to the main PCB. So replacing it requires proper soldering equipment and knowledge, or replacing the entirety of the internals, essentially. For PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controllers, it's a bit different as the USB port is soldered to a separate PCB. But these boards are not interchangeable between the controllers. However, if let's say you had a faulty micro USB port on your DualShock 4, you could, if you wanted to, switch over to USB-C. A content creator by the name of Marius Hire, Hair, my apologies, I was born in the West. He makes USB-C boards for all versions of the DualShock 4 controller and they can be found for a very reasonable price. It works just as the original port did, so it's fully compatible with both your PC and your gay station. He even went through quite a bit of effort to make custom USB-C boards specifically themed around this channel and at the end of this video, I'll be giving 10 of them away. The details on that will obviously be at the end of the video. And before we get started on this one, I'd also like to announce our first sponsor. The service Maurice used for these boards was PCBWay, and they were kind enough to be the very first sponsor for this channel. And as the name implies, they do everything PCB related from prototypes to assemblies. They even do 3D printing and CNC machining. So if you're interested in something like this, their website will be down in the description below. Some of you may recall a post I made a few months back about a custom PS4 controller. That was a DS4 I bought specifically for both this video and the custom DS4 controller video I plan on doing in the future still. And what I can only describe as a stroke of luck in my case, the board actually was faulty. My USB port when I got my controller wouldn't really work with any of the cables I had. It was constantly disconnecting. So the universe kind of put this whole shit together. With these boards, you're getting the exact same pulling rate as before, and USB-C seems to feel like it's a lot more snug than micro USB. Micro USB feels more akin to like a loose HDMI cable, which now more, makes more and more sense that I look at it. Overall, I would say this is an upgrade. Plus, for people who use cables, it's not very fun switching from micro USB to USB-C all the time. First world problems, I understand. Ooh, let, me, let me get my little plug and plug it into my Tesla. Maybe I can get an erection one day. Is this the man you are? These boards work with all available versions of the DualShock 4, but to see which one you specifically need, you will need to take apart your controller, but to a very light extent. A total of five screws, no soldering, and removing a couple of pieces of plastic is really all that separates you from having a different USB port. You simply remove the four screws for the rear shell, take out the, 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 what the fuck is that called? Light diffuser thing object, after which you carefully remove the ribbon, unscrew the board, and then you're done. Well, not really, actually. You still have to shape the rear shell because the port will not fit in the rear shell uh, because it's micro. Marius recommends using a file to slice the port up. I would too. Uh, using an X-Acto knife didn't really go all that well. And aside from almost cutting myself, definitely been the easiest mod for a controller I've ever done. So it makes it very easily recommendable if you're doing like a, a PS4 Pro Controller, or again, if you're like me and your port just happened to commit scooter angle. It's a niche product, I'm aware, but I know someone out there somewhere is going to need something like this. Plus, I, I've had th three or four of these PS4 controllers that have had this USB problem. And not mine, friends and family members, but still. Luckily, Marius plans on doing more things like this in the future, much, much, much bigger things in the future as well. So I will be leaving a link down to his channel and his Instagram in the description, as well as his websites where you can purchase his products. And I'd again like to thank him and PCB Wave for help making this uh, video a video. My brain's functioning at like 38% today. Still doing the giveaway though. So. To enter the giveaway, it's not as easy as every other giveaway. I'm going to give away 10 boards, but I only have these versions for these PS4 controllers. I don't have custom variants for all of them. So with this giveaway, you're going to need to leave a comment. In that comment, you need to have the hashtag PS4 USB-C, and I also need to see what version your board is. And if you've never taken apart your controller, well, here uh, is a very nice tutorial. You have till February 28th.
I'll be giving away 10 in this video as well as 10 in my full PS4 custom controller video, which I'm very excited for. So if you missed this one, don't worry, there'll probably be one in March or April. I'm not going to have an extended outro with this video. Uh, I can't use my old outro because UMG fucking claimed it again. They're not going to stop doing that. I think I should stop trying. Um, some type of Nintendo outro music that is very defeated. EXE.